All right, a Fox News alert. 10 o'clock this morning, Hunter Biden is set to appear in federal court where he is expected to plead guilty and finalize what many call a sweetheart plea deal on a couple of tax charges. But last night at the 11th hour, the judge threatened to sanction his legal team, accusing them of blocking key evidence. Quote, it appears that the caller represented her, misrepresented her identity and who she worked for in an attempt to improperly convince the clerk's office to remove the amicus materials from the docket. Hunter's defense team responding, we have no idea how the misunderstanding occurred, but our understanding is there was no misrepresentation. Our next guest has been following this case from the very beginning, Fox News contributor Miranda Devine. Miranda, of course, at the last minute, uh, suddenly there's this <laughs> accusation. Hey, somebody called in, told me to seal that up, and it sounds like uh, it was all fishy. Yes, Steve, I don't think anyone out there will be at all surprised that there's been some last-minute shenanigans in this case. It's very high stakes for Hunter Biden and for his father, Joe Biden. There's been a lot of shenanigans going into minimising any penalty for many years of, of, of tax, uh, let's call them irregularities, mm -hmm. alleged tax evasion. And uh, now it's going to come to a head this morning. But last night, uh, the judge was so um, disturbed by what she'd been told by her clerk had been done by Hunter Biden's lawyers that she threatened uh, his lawyers that they might be sanctioned unless they came up with a good explanation. Right. Now, they did come up with an explanation. They said it was just, as you said, a misunderstanding, unfortunate, unintentional uh, between one of their lawyers and the clerk, who, who, who uh, the, their lawyers did not misrepresent herself right. as being coming from the GOP lawyers. So the judge will have to sort out who's telling the truth and if it really was a misunderstanding. And maybe, uh, maybe this would affect uh, her rubber stamping that plea deal. Right. But it's a lot of pressure. It's Delaware. It's Joe Biden's home yeah. state. It, uh, I wouldn't be holding my breath. Sure. Uh, at, at the 11th hour as well, yesterday, the chairman, a Republican, uh, Jason Smith, of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, submitted an amicus brief to the judge and, say, and said, hey, before you go ahead and rubber stamp this, take a look at what these whistleblowers said. And I understand that's some of the stuff that uh, this call uh, tried to seal so that the public couldn't see it. Uh, and apparently the caller said, yeah, there's tax stuff, there's Social Security stuff, and there's grand jury stuff. And that would uh, seal it. However, it's all fishy. And, and thankfully, they're going to work it all out. Uh, Miranda, ultimately, though, this particular judge who was appointed by Donald Trump, nominated by Donald Trump, uh, you know, do you think it's just going to be a rubber stamp? Don't you think she's going to ask a lot of questions? And there are a lot of people hoping that she reads what the whistleblowers and sa uh, said and says, you know what, can we go back and look at this a little more? Yes, look, that's a 400-page something um, amicus brief that was filed by Jason Smith yesterday and, of course, uh, the Hunter Biden team uh, hate what the IRS whistleblowers say, which is that uh, there was obstruction and slow walking to favour Hunter Biden and get him this sweetheart plea deal. Um, and that's a lot to, for her to read and digest. There are two other amicus briefs, I believe, that have been sent in. So she may want to adjourn um, so she has some time to grapple with this information. Of course, we'll have coverage starting at 10 o'clock this morning. Miranda, thank you very much for the pregame show. Thanks, Steve. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.